Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of Let's Play Super Mario RPG, The Legend of the Seven Stars. Uh, last time we talked to our good friend Frog Fuchsius. He told us that Mallow is not a tadpole or a frog of any sort. And now we have to take him on our adventure to find his real family, but our ultimate goal is to defeat the Smithy Gang. And uh, Frog Fuchsius told us that we need to go to Rosetown first, so... Uh, let us go ahead and leave, and a path should open up to Roseway. Uh, Roseway is another one of those short little routes. We'll have a few enemy fights here and there, and that's basically what we'll do. So, um, right off the bat, we can get a flower if we're clever enough. I think you have to uh, time this just right, though. Or actually, do I need to hit that other platform, or does, will that take us somewhere else? Also, watch out for the starfish, although it's not the worst thing in the world if you hit them. Actually, no, this is actually makes more sense, because... Okay, there we go. Got the flower. You can also grab some coins if you need them, but I'm not going to worry about it. In here, we have some platforms, and we also have a treasure chest, but we can't get the treasure chest from down here. We have to use these blocks, which means we have to fight these shy guy enemies. So we have two enemies right here. First we have the Shy Guy. Uh, shy Guys have 78 HP, and they have a few attacks. They have uh, two status effect attacks, actually. Uh, first they have Doom Reverb, which can actually uh, put you in mute status. And then they also have a Lullaby, which can uh, put you to sleep status. Basically, a Wake Up Pin would actually work wonders in this fight, because you're guarded from either status ailment. Uh, the second enemy we have is a Star Slap. They only have uh, 62 HP. Uh, they only have one attack, one special attack anyway. They also have their normal physical attack. But they have the attack Recover, which actually recovers its own or an ally's HP. And by ally, I mean their ally, so the Shy Guy in this case. And they're also weak to um, Fire and Thunder attacks, so keep that in mind. But let's go ahead and kill these things. Obviously, we have some new weapons now as well. Uh, the timing for the froggy stick is much like the hammer. And as for the shell, I believe you want to hit just as Mario's kicking it. Or maybe right before. I don't know exactly. Uh, that doesn't seem to be the right timing. Unless Mario is just a lot weaker right now. But I don't think that's the case. Oh well, we'll just keep going for now. I'm actually getting better at the uh, defensive timing, I have to admit. But there we go. That battle wasn't too bad. Now let's also get rid of this guy as well. I still feel like my timing's down a little bit for the knock-knock shell, but I'll probably get better at it as we use it. Okay, this can actually be kind of tricky, and if you screw up enough, the platforms will actually be off sync. But you can actually fix that by just, uh, you know, just standing right here and jumping and stopping the platform and then getting it to uh, go pretty much when you want it to, so that's always nice. It's like major off sync now, so I have to wait a little bit before I get it exactly right. That should be good. Hopefully I can manage that. Okay, I can't just walk off. I actually have to jump. Oh, crap. I almost had it right there. I know, the jumps in this game can be kind of awkward, especially when you're doing a jump like this. Okay, there we go. Now we just have to wait till we get to the top, and flower co- or no, frog coin. Not a flower coin. Those don't exist. Yet. Wait, are there any flower coins, or am I thinking of nothing? I don't know. There might be in, like, another game that I haven't played or something, but whatever. Not a big deal. Okay, so let's get over here on this platform. You can also grab coins in this area as well, but mainly you want to get over here. In this room, we have another new enemy. Let's go ahead and fight this guy. This guy is a crook. Generally, they will run away, but I'll go ahead and talk about them. Uh, they only have 38 HP, and they have a tendency to drop honey syrups, so it's always nice when you can kill those guys. I believe you also get, like, extra coins if you kill those guys as well, so it's always nice to get those guys down a peg whenever you can, but most of the time they will run away. It's just their nature. Uh, but yeah, Doom Reverb is a mute attack, as you can see. Mallow was not affected by it because he has the uh, wake-up pin on right now. 
Uh, did I even show my uh, equipment before this video or not? Well, if I didn't, here it is. So yeah, that's it for that. And uh, we have a Lakitu right here. This Lakitu is carrying a Shy Guy, as you can plainly see. And um, if you uh, destroy the Shy Guy, he will actually uh, bring out another Shy Guy. And if you uh, destroy the Shy Guy five times, uh, the Lakitu will actually throw you down a mushroom. So if you really want that, go ahead and get it, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, here's another new enemy of Roseway. These are the Snapdragons. Uh, Snapdragons have 90 HP, they have an attack Pollen Nap, which obviously puts the target asleep, and they also have a weakness to fire, and they also have a tendency to drop mushrooms, so that is all you need to know about the Snapdragon. I still feel like my timing's off for the Knock Knock Shell. Cause, uh, yeah, because he's matching Mallow in strength right now, which doesn't seem right. Hmm, I don't know. There might be something I'm missing that I just can't think of at the time. Oh, Mallow got 54 right there. Okay, that has to be the timing, but... Maybe maybe Mallow's attack is a lot higher than Mario's right now, which wouldn't make any sense, but... I'll go ahead and check. Okay, yeah, they have pretty similar attack. They are only like three off from each other, so... I guess that makes sense. My Mallow's actually pretty good, I have to admit. My Mallow's really not that bad. He's just a little slower than Mario, really, and there's a few stats that are kind of just like one or two or three off. Okay, so we're back in this room again. Then you just go over here. I believe you can ride this. Or maybe you can't. It might be another one I'm thinking of, but... One of these you can actually ride back to an earlier part of the level if you need to go back, but there's hardly a reason for you to do that. Okay, in here we have some more Shy Guys, they're on treasure chests. Uh, a trick you can do, although it's not a very big trick, each ch chest has four coins. So what you could do is uh, go through all the chests, uh, get a few coins if you want, leave the room, and then come back and the coins will respawn. And finally, here's actually the last enemy of Roseway, this is the Arachna. It has 82 HP and attack Venom Drool, which causes poison. It's weak to ice attacks, which we have none. And it has a tendency to drop Able Juices, so... Uh, those are actually all the enemies of uh, Rose Way, so we covered all of them very nicely. Now let's actually uh, destroy everybody. I still feel like my attack power, like, timing is off for some reason. I know you guys are probably tired of me complaining about that, but... I don't know, it just seems kind of off to me. Although I am recording this game in a slightly different location than I was for the first uh, six videos, so that could be why. I recorded the first six videos at home on my own TV, and uh, I'm recording on my small dorm TV right now, so there is probably a small difference in the uh, timing and synchronizing, or whatever you call it. Calibration, I think is the right term. But yeah, you can uh, get a few coins from these chests, leave the room, and come back. It's not really worth it too much, though, because they're only, like, single coins. So yeah, I'm probably just going to leave the room and go on. In this room, we have Goombas, and... Oh, I think we have a little more than Goombas right here. It's our good friend, Bowser. It's been a long time since we've seen you, buddy. So I guess he's uh, leading an army to get his castle back. I have to admit, Bowser, I'm not really that impressed with your army right now, because you have the two weakest enemies in the game, uh, the Goombas and the Terrapins. Uh, Magic Koopas, you actually don't fight any, like, normal Magic Koopas. There is one Magic Koopa we'll fight later on, but... As an enemy in general, we won't fight them at all. But yeah, I'm not too impressed with that army. I'm not going to see a lot of success from that. But who knows? Bowser's always surprised us in the past, so... He might have something up his sleeve. But anyway, that's actually it for Rose Way. This is the uh, last screen, so we're done. Not a very long area, but it's cool. Uh, now let's actually go to Rosetown, where we heard there seems to be some 
issues going on in this town. Yeah, that seems like a big issue to me. Okay, so these arrows are landing on the town, and whenever a townsperson is struck by one, they cannot move. So, yeah, that is a problem. What do you have to say? Uh-oh, you, you've been gotten to. Aw, poor lady. Well, let's go around town and see if there's anything we can find out. Oh, here's a dude. Yeah, I guess so. I've actually, uh, when I was younger, I've actually followed this guy around for, like, about, about an hour before. And this guy is never caught. Like, an arrow will never land on this guy. I know, I was young, and I was like, oh, I want to see the arrow hit this guy. And I waited for, like, an hour. I was like, I don't think the arrow's gonna hit him. <laughs> oh, but this poor kid got hit, too. Yeah, that does seem like that would be very, very boring very, very quickly. Uh, here's the item shop. You can actually go down the chimney here and get a flower. And I believe there's also a hidden treasure chest right here that has a frog coin. And these are the item and accessory shops. Uh, here you can just get a mushroom, honey syrup, pick me up, able juice. Uh, let me see. Um, I think I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna get five of each. I think that's gonna be my standard at this time in terms of items. I'll have five of each. You really don't need able juices though, because the status will always go away after the battle. So able juices are kind of pointless in my opinion. Uh, do I have anything else in here? I have a pure water. Uh, I would recommend selling any pure waters if you have them, especially if you did a lot of battling in uh, the Karo sewers, uh, because pure waters, you're not going to see very many ghost enemies at all, and it's always best to sell these things when you have them, because they get 75 coins, and I pretty much just made all the coins I just spent on items back, although we are going to be spending more coins here in a little bit, like right now. Because there are some new items we can buy. We can buy uh, up upgraded uh, armors for both Mario and Mallow. Thick shirt and thick pants. And we can also buy the Fearless pin. It's 130 coins, which is really, really expensive. And you can probably find one later in the game for cheaper, but I'm going to go ahead and buy this now, just to have it. It also offers a few uh, extra defenses as well. So let's go ahead and uh, equip our new armors. And Fearless Pin, I'm actually going to stick on Mario for the time being. Uh, Mallow, hmm. I think I'm going to keep the Wake Up Pin on you, though, so you can go ahead and keep that. And you can also sell some weapons as well. You can sell the hammer, the shirt, and the pants. And you, have, you got some of your coins back, but we still spent a lot of coins on that Fearless Pin. Again, that thing is way too expensive for its own good, but whatever, we have it now, and... We can say that we do have it for the rest of the game. Okay, uh, what's going on with you? Okay, yeah, you can't go chop any wood. Oh, your husband's right outside, didn't you know? You could literally just, like, walk outside and you'd find your husband. I don't know why you're worried so much. And lastly, we have this guy over here. Uh-oh. His son's been playing with the controls again. Oh, God. Sounds like me when I was a kid. I was always trying to touch and play with everything. But if we go up here in his house, we can find some treasures. We're going to go ahead and take them. We need them more than he does anyway. And there's also a hidden treasure chest in here on the guy's bed where you can get a frog coin. Hey, you were the one who pressed the button, so it's your fault. Uh, we can get the uh, dad back up here just by pressing that button. Then if we go outside, we can talk to him. Thanks a million, Mario. Say, were my treasures okay? Uh, no, they weren't. Yeah, I got a little carried away. So yeah, he's not going to... Uh, scold us or make us give the flowers back, he's going to allow us to keep them. Uh, it doesn't really matter what happens uh, or what you say to those questions because uh, eventually like, you'll get the option to just, you know, apologize anyway. 
And for apologizing, you actually get the secret hint. Enter the forest. When you hit an area with four paths, go left, left, straight, right in that order. And you'll find something nice. Okay, so we're going to keep that in mind. That'll actually uh, come into play very, very soon. And uh, I think that's actually the last house, aside from the inn. And the inn is actually where we need to go next. So, um, oh, here's another lady. Oh, you can't move either? Well, I kind of figured that. So yeah, let's uh, pay a short visit to the inn, I suppose. Hey, cool, the kid's playing Mario. Not video game Mario either, he's playing, like, legit action figure Mario. When I was younger, I really wanted a Mario action figure. Like, they didn't really have any Mario action figures. If they did, like, I never found one. I always wanted one, though. The closest thing I had to a Mario action figure was this, uh... It was like this small toy yellow truck that had, like, Super Mario 64, like, artwork from the game on the side of it. And that's, like, the closest thing to a Mario toy I ever had. I always just had the video games. Which is fine, I wasn't really much of a dollar action figure type of kid anyway, but... Still, though, I would have always liked to have a Mario action figure, because I did have a Yoshi, actually. Just not a Mario one. So yeah, the kid recognizes that Mario is actually in his house. So once again, he needs us to prove that we're Mario, so we have to jump. We have to perform our mighty jump attack, because that's the only way anyone will believe us. And he wants us to play Save the World with him. And Mario, because he's the nice guy, he's going to um, go ahead and agree to play with him. But why do I get to be Bowser? Why can't I be myself? And Gaz is actually going to be playing with a secret toy he has hidden behind the counter. It's Gino! The Gino doll. And now Mario is going to perform the ultimate act of child abuse right here. Yeah, I've always... <laughs> Uh, I've always found that kind of questionable, that he'd, like, push a kid against a staircase. But it's a video game. It's all in good fun. Oh, wow. Okay, just the fact that a doll can do that is, like... <laughs> that's insane. None of my dolls could do that. But anyway, during the night, a shooting star comes to the inn. It seems to be hovering over all the dolls. It then picks the Geno doll. And through the magic of bright lights, The doll comes to life. Oh, ow. Um, <laughs> guess he hasn't quite got the whole walking thing figured out yet, but give it time, give it time. So yeah, uh, Gino just walked outside. So I guess we're going to have to follow him and see what's going on. And right away, Gaz recognizes that Gino has left the building, so to speak. 
And sorry if you can hear that in the background. Uh-oh. Looks like Gaz is in trouble. Okay, so they're going to have a little argument. Yeah, yeah, Gino doesn't know his own strength. Yeah, that, yeah, good excuse. But I guess he really doesn't, because he just, he just became a real live person and walked out the door, so I guess he doesn't know his own strength. Okay, so, uh, it looks like we're gonna go, uh, chase Gino into the forest, and the forest seems to be the root of all these problems anyway, so that seems like a good start. So, this has been Slim Kirby, this has been Let's Play Super Mario RPG. I will see you guys next time when we venture into the forest. Later, folks.